Hey guys, so I have some exciting stuff to show you today. I ordered from Ulta online about a month and a half ago, and then I also went there about two weeks ago, but it was right before my trip. So when I ordered, I mainly went for the stuff that was buy one, get one 50% off, and I decided to go for these two foundations. They're both from Almay, and I don't hear a lot about the Almay brand, but whatever I have tried from Almay, I really do like. So the first foundation that I got from Alme is the TLC Trulé Lasting Color and it's for 16 hours of wear. I personally don't like to wear my makeup for that long, but I thought it would be a really nice summer makeup and especially when I go out for the evening, I thought this would be fantastic. I got it in buff and it's 140 and I can't wait to try it. I love that both these foundations that I got from Alme have a pump just so I can control how much comes out. The second one that I got is the Clear Complexion Makeup Blemish Heal Technology and it's also in buff and I can't wait to try this out. I do have hormonal acne as you can probably see I'm breaking out a little bit on my chin and I do suffer from it on my jawline as well so I can't wait to see if this will help at all. So like I said, I went for the sale items and I decided to give this first of all a try. It's the L'Oreal Paris Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream and I got it in light and I didn't want to get the fair one because I mainly want to use the BB creams in the summertime. And this has four beautifying actions in one. It primes, corrects, hydrates, and perfects and it's supposed to look like you have a flawless bare skin finish. So I'm so excited to try this out. I've been loving BB creams lately and I can't wait to try more. And I eventually want to do a review on my favorite BB creams. So the other thing that I got from L'Oreal is the Magic Lumi Concealer. And I got mine in light pale. So I'm so excited to try this out. I've seen this in a bunch of tutorials and everything. It really is just a radiant lumescent concealer and I can't wait to try it. Especially on more of my high fashion or glamorous makeup look. The next two things I also got on sale and I'm so ecstatic about getting them. They are the Real Technique brushes from Samantha Chapman. And I've been wanting these for the longest time. I've been wanting more brushes in my collection just because I don't have that many. And I tend to wash them a lot and then I don't always have them ready in time for makeup looks. So I'm so excited and I've heard such amazing things about these. So the other thing that I got for my first trip is the Stila palette and it's the not so nude palette and they also had the nude palette and the barefoot palette or something like that. <laughs> Can't remember the exact names but they're all to do with being nude and I just thought it was really really cute. It's a $73 value and it was $20 but I actually got mine for $15 so I was super duper excited and they have some amazing colors in them. I really love the packaging. I just think it's really super cute and then these are all the colors in it. So I'll just go through the shades really quickly. This one is Sugar, Fawn, Barefoot, Buff, Mink, Dulce, Kitten, and Lily. And I think my favorite colors are Fawn, which is a brown shimmery color. I also love this one called Dulce, which is a very shimmery gold color. But I like this one as well. It looks like it might just be black when you look at it far away. But then when you get up close, it has a lot of purple shimmer in it. Along with the Stila palette, I also got this free mascara, and it's their waterproof volumizing mascara, and I'm so, so excited to try this out. So I also got some perfume samples. I got Couture Lala from Juicy Couture. I got Selena Gomez, which looks like that. And I really like this little packaging. It's the Prada Milano. So excited to try So the second time I actually went into the store and I decided to get these shampoos. I've been wanting these for a while and they were on the major sale of the year. They're originally like $45 each, which is crazy, but I got this one for about $12.99 and this one for $15.99, I believe. So very inexpensive compared to what they originally are. This one is the Healthy Sexy Hair Color Safe Soy Moisturizing Shampoo, which has soy, soy cocoa, and organ oil in it. And I've used this a lot on my trip, and I absolutely love it. It's definitely very clean and refreshing. I thought I was going to have more of a scent, truthfully, so I was kind of disappointed, but I do really like it. So the second shampoo that I got, I also used on my trip, and I'm so, so excited to have this. It's the AG Hair Cosmetics Color Care Sterling Silver Shampoo Toning Shampoo. And I have another purple shampoo but it's more purple toned. This one is more of a darker purpley blue color 
And I was so excited to get this just because it will last me a really, really long time and help get the brassiness out of my hair. And I just also thought it would be really nice to have a high-end brand. So all the rest of the stuff also was buy one, get one 50% off. I decided to get some stuff from NYX. I really wanted to try out this NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer. And I got mine in the lightest shade. I think it's porcelain. Let me see. Yes, and it's porcelain. I also decided to get a NYX blush. This is my first NYX blush. And I really wanted to try Bourjois Pig, but I decided I always go for hot pinks or baby pinks. So I should go for more of a dusty, rosy color. And actually it is called Dusty Rose. And I just decided to go for it because it's more of an adult color. And I feel like I should branch out my collection. So I've been wanting more Maybelline color tattoos because I only have one in my collection. So I was so excited when I saw them on sale and I decided to get four. And I did get mainly neutral tones because I'm trying to get more into neutrals, but two of them are quite bold neutrals. So this first one that I got is Toughest Taupe. And it's obviously just this taupey kind of browny gray color and I absolutely love it. This one I got is Inked in Pink, which is kind of a neutral color, but it is more on the flirtatious, colorful side, and my sister said this one was her favorite out of the ones that I picked out. Then I also got Barely Branded, and I just decided to get this one because I've seen it in a lot of tutorials, and I thought it would be a really nice base color. And the last one that I got is Bold Gold, and I absolutely love this. I'm obsessed with gold colors, so I think this one will be one of my favorites. So that is everything that I got. I hope you enjoyed this haul, and don't forget to leave a comment down below if you want me to review any of this stuff, and I will be using it all in tutorials. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and click the like button. I'll see you later. Bye.